Hey guys, welcome back to the final war of season 22 of Alliance Wars. And uh, other than this uh, one tough fight at the beginning here, we got lots of fun fights this war, including a crazy Dragon Man uh, Alliance War boss. But first, I had to get through this doom on uh, Hazard Shift, and I'm there's I'm sure it could be quaked. I'm sure there are other like awesome ways to get through this. I just you know, based on what else I was going to try and uh, get done with uh, my team for, like, uh, the main account, uh, I just went in with Iceman. I didn't, I could have, I started off pretty well. The only problem is it's just a matter of managing his um, specials. And sometimes you can evade, like, his special one, like, a million times in a row. Here he wasn't really throwing his um, special at the beginning. And I think just not having it, I just wasn't in uh, rhythm. And here, I think on the first one, um, I take it. And that kind of screws up the entire fight. I think if I wouldn't have taken that, I could probably would have been, okay, now I'm stuck kind of dealing with his uh, um, uh, the shocks and everything. Not not the greatest, but, uh, you know, I, I have one, uh, one unfortunate death on uh, this fight. And, uh, but then we get to the good stuff afterwards. I think I was also, like, I've got a, a Korg on Node 23. We haven't taken that a lot this, uh, season. Been focusing on some other fights, but we got, uh, a fun one with Doom against the Mixed Master Korg. We've got, uh... We've got a couple apocalypse fights this war, so uh, there's there's definitely some uh, some fun stuff in this one. And uh, the, usually I don't see a doom here because it's usually saved for like a, a different node, but these guys were throwing dooms and things and apocalypses like they had stacked defense everywhere, so. Hard to, to have uh, counters for everything. But uh, we had pretty much wrapped up. I think we just finished uh, near the top of Platinum 3. We weren't, we weren't uh, gonna break into Platinum 2. So uh, I think we only went one section in Section 2 and went straight to the boss circle. So, uh, you know, we kind of just uh, spread the wealth around <laughs> this one, but still definitely got a lot of uh, fun fights in. So unfortunately, I'm not going to get this one down in one shot. We heal up and go back in. So we finish him off, and it's not too bad. And take a slap to the face. Not, not the greatest uh, start here. But uh, we get him down. And he's down. So that's all we need a dice man for, really, this one. Next one, we've got uh, Apocalypse on this, like, uh, Matador node. Nothing too crazy for uh, Warlock bringing a robot. So even if you do screw up, you're not going to, you know, give him extra charges. But, uh, yeah, Warlock does a great job against him here. Bleeds are only going to work uh, for a short period of time, and then he's going to get the, you know, he'll become um, bleed immune for the rest of the fight, so that's fine. You can get them in 
early. And now he goes bleed immune, and that's fine. Most of the warlock damage is going to be off, you know, a bunch of it off of his degens and uh, the specials, so it's fine. Nothing too crazy here. And he's a stubborn defender, but as long as you can parry him, you know, or parry and bait his specials, not not too bad. Take I'll take the end of the special one on the block and attack back in afterwards. So it's not it's you know uh, he's a scary looking uh, defender, but we've seen him a couple times. We've seen him a couple times recently as the now he's the map five AQ boss. So there's a whole bunch of ways that you can uh, deal with him. Warlock, another great option. And he's down. Uh, next, so a teammate put the pre-fight from White Magneto, like our Magneto House of X, on here, which gives him, um, which gives a hashtag metal or hashtag hero champs the chance to do the passive stun instead of an active stun. And since Korg can't shrug off the passive stun, it doesn't matter that he's like almost sig 200 and he has almost 70% chance to shrug off my parries. He can't shrug off. The passive parries so now it's just a simple mix master uh, Korg you parry medium light medium parry medium light medium rinse and repeat use the special one to keep his uh, specials in in check try and build up to special twos and drop the special twos when he's got when he doesn't have the rock stacks on and that's where the big damage is gonna be with doom Again, I'm just more, the reason I back off there is I just don't want to evade against Korg at any point. Not for the stubborn, but more for his um, crowd charges. So there, drop the special two before the rock stacks recover, and that's where the big damage is going to come from. So again, I back off because I don't want to trigger crowd charges because if he has crowd charges, then his special one's going to go unblockable and I'm not going to be able to evade it a million times in a row. I'll probably end up getting screwed. And so I'd rather take those special ones on the block and just keep going in, controlling the fight and getting through it with the nice solo. Not the fastest way to do it, but for me, when I was doing it, this is probably one of the most consistent ways to do it. If you got the, if someone throws that Magneto pre-fight on, it makes this fight a piece of cake. Again, big special two. Put the rock sacks down. And I think one more parry, and he's down. So that was great. Next, awesome thing fight on this node um, where we've got power from afar, kinetic transference, but I left the rich get richer node on. If you've seen this, me do this before. So now Warlock's got his armor up. He's always going to be gaining power. Now, uh, here's the, the trick here. I'm going to... I, <laughs> I waste my invulnerability right at the beginning, but that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just parry and heavy and build up to a special three. So here, it doesn't matter. I'll back, let him throw his specials. Because I'm throwing the heavy, I'm always applying a bleed, which means he's never going to get his rock stacks up anywhere. I'm going to throw my special three, and I'm going to drain all of his power. 
And then I am consistently gaining power from Rich Get Richer because his nodes are passive. Not uh, like his buffs are passive except for the power gain one. So when that power gain disappears, I am the one who's gaining power all the time. Um, and uh, all I gotta do is parry and heavy, let him throw his specials, build up to another uh, special three, and I actually managed to gain 6% health in this fight. This fight can be a massive pain because it is nice placement in terms of you cannot nullify um, the power gain because this thing is immune to nullify. Um, so you can, um, you could power lock him in anything, but you cannot, um, you know, uh, like a doom wouldn't work where you can't nullify uh, hit the power gain. You could steal the power, but you can't nullify it. So I've done, uh, this is the first time I've done it with, uh, you know, thought to use uh, Warlock against, uh, I, I can't remember the last time we had a thing here, but this was, I think, really, really, really nice option um, for this fight. You can see he's just going to consistently get power burned, degen and just, it's, it's great. And he doesn't get any rock stacks. It's just parry and heavy. He gets nothing, and it's awesome. So really awesome way to shut down uh, this thing fight um, you know with this uh, see, can be intimidating mode combination so I was uh, I was very happy uh, with the outcome on this one like I said I think I actually gained 6% uh, health on this fight <laughs> I don't don't think I lost anything I think it was actually just a net positive <laughs> down so that was awesome uh, next we've got another apocalypse this time of the six star variety on um, enhanced uh, special one and hurt locker so we're gonna go in with warlock again and again don't have to you can I can parry him freely so I'm not too worried about that again get the bleeds off at the beginning and he'll quickly go bleed immune for the rest of the fight there he goes But here it's just a matter of um, his special one. Uh, just don't get hit by the initial part. You can block the beams at the end and attack back in and just keep a handle on which specials you've done. There, just take the last beams on the block and attack right back in. So it helps you deal with uh, stubborn as well. Again, just keeping track of uh, specials, and this one works out great. So I think this is definitely the only war that I fought two apocalypses in. <laughs> so Warlock definitely. Oh, great Alliance War Attacker. Haven't um, had a chance to use a lot of him, mainly dealing with uh, other counters most of the season, but yeah, this is, um, um, you know, awesome. Great against these Apocalypse fights. So he's almost down, and then we bring in the junior account for one boss fight, at like usual, <laughs> almost all season. I think we've, I think we've taken the boss almost every single war, which is fun. Okay, time for the boss. Got a dragon man on the boss. So first, we're gonna use our usual pre-fight abilities with. 
Mr. Fantastic. We've got the Mr. Fantastic Doc Ox Energy to apply power stings. Uh, our teammate also put on the um, uh, extra 15% attack with the Magneto pre-fight. And I put an invulnerability boost on. Now, I haven't fought a Dragon Man here. I know that at least Void's a stubborn attacker. So on my parries, I can get some destructible charges on him. And here I'm just going to take the end of the level one on the block and attack back in. I know that I, um, I got to be careful here. The problem is, uh, there I was nervous to attack in after the uh, heavy, but we'll see after this. I'm not sure how long this fight is going to be. Um, and then I'm thinking, well, I've got the invulnerability boost, I might as well, if you have on the special, I might as well just push him to the special. But I completely forget that after his special, he was going to stop him. So, the first time of the special, my first fight, I'm going to take a couple hits right into <laughs> To me, I love this one. Counter with a special one. I get a clutch intercept there. And now I'm just going to get a for it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, back into this. Let's see. So there, I have to go back in and uh, tag. Do the same thing here. Get a special one on the block. And I'm just going to get a Got a million debuffs up. The damage is ticking when he's throwing those specials. He's taking the damage. It's just what can I do here to uh, potentially <laughs> not die? So, you can see now I'm attacking in after the heavy. Still only a charge in, so I gotta be careful and try and get another one. Now he's got none. No, not even, but it's working out okay. There I get one back. Got very little practice against this guy, so I'm just kind of winning it. But uh, I'm like so nervous at this point. Another clutch intercept. And he's down, uh, which was awesome. So uh, good luck to everyone at the end of the season, and uh, we'll see you next time.